seven and one half pounds. Presentando al retador en la esquina azul, decido en calzoncillo blanco, pesando 107 libras y medio. He is ranked number 15 in the world by the WBA with a record of 22 wins, one loss. He has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Con un record de 22 victorias y una derrota, tiene 17 ganadas por la vía del knockout. Clasificado número 15 AMB, aquí está el campeón azteca de Puerto Peñasco y Hermosillo, Sonora, México. Introducing the challenger. opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 107 and one half pounds. Y su oponente, el campeón en la esquina roja, vestido en calzoncillo azul con franja blanca, tiene un peso de 107 libras y media. As a two-time, two-weight division world champion, he is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 33 wins, no losses, 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Tiene un sobresaliente record de 33 victorias sin derrota con 28 ganadas por la vía del knockout. Aquí está el Now to give instructions is Jerry Cantu. Caballeros, está recibiendo sus instrucciones en el camerino. Buena suerte, toca las guantes. We are live on Wealth TV around the planet at Mark Abrams. Everyone in the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena is on their feet. You can feel the excitement. A lot of Nicaraguans in the greater LA area. In fact, they had the press conference at a Nicaraguan restaurant the other day, and you can hear the tremendous support. It goes without saying that the Mexican influence here in Los Angeles Tremendous atmosphere for this fight. This looks like it's going to be a classic. All right, you're looking at Ramon El Chacolatito Gonzalez, the WBA World Light Flyweight Champion. And on the left is Juan Francisco Estrada. And do not go anywhere. You're going to see power and speed, champ. I tell you what, Mike, Gonzale came out real smooth, real confident, and, and, and he's fighting like he knows what he's doing. Don't let the looks fool you. He's got the nicely parted hair, but this kid, I've seen probably 25 of his 33 professional fights. He brings it, taking a couple punches early, but he's just trying to get, he, I mean, he, we'll get the engine uh, started real soon, I would imagine. Well, I tell you what, what he's doing is he's filling them out. He's not really doing too much. Just filling out, letting them throw punches, and pretty soon he will get one in as he just threw the jab. And that jab that he threw was a quick jab. So I can see now that he's got speed on his jab. And again, El Chaco Tito Ramon Gonzalez undefeated in 33 fights, 28 by knockout. He's coming off a third round knock knockout over 9 0 and 2. Monterosa. Back on October 6th, fought that fight at 112 and a half pounds. The winner of this fight most likely will get the winner of our main event coming up next. Make no mistake about that. At 108, real easy to move up to 112. They want that winner. Just a meal. One meal, they're up at flyway. I tell you what, Ron uh, He's not really worried about what he's doing. Now. He's just taking his time, 
letting him throw his punches and seeing exactly what he needs to do. So maybe the second round, he might pick it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you have to think that Gonzalez just wants to see what he's got. Yeah. He wants to see the, the timing of the punches. He wants to see the speed, what he's got on the punches, and then he's going to open it up. And when he does, look out. Like I said, he didn't get that nickname, the killing machine, for nothing. You see what he's doing? He just put in pressure, body pressure. Not too many punching pressure on him, but it looks like he's starting to pick it up right now. And, yes, and, and I tell you what, you know, if he's going to fight like Good that. Good body work by Estrada. I think he's going to be there all right. is. You saw the power. You saw the power. And now Gonzalez starting to open up. We said when he does, look out. He's fought nine world title fights. Estrada, who's a good fighter, has not been in this position. Let's see how he handles adversity when Gonzalez starts ramping it up. And champ, what I like about Roman Gonzalez, he throws that left hook very short, like about a six-inch punch, very hard to pick off. Well, I can, you can see that right there, Mike, he throws short punches, and the punch that he's throwing got power on it. The end of round one, and Martin, this arena is electrified. Great atmosphere hey. for a fight. Tienes que trabajarlo abajo, porque van a adelantar primero. Siempre tu mano adelantada, amigo. Eh, siempre tu mano adelantada y trabajalo abajo. Una cosa, no te me quedes mucho tiempo en las cuerdas, ¿me entendiste? Eh, sale. Pasa en las cuerdas. As we await round number two, Ramon El Chacolatito Gonzalez taking on the challenger Juan Francisco Estrada. 12 rounds for the WBA World Light Flyweight title. Will it go that long, Mark Abrams? I highly doubt it. Well, you know what, Mike? I don't think it's going to go that far either because he's too smooth. Uh, Roman Gonzalez. He's too smooth, got his hands up, and he's not really worried about what you throw. He's concentrating on what he does. Yeah, he, he, he's got almost like a peekaboo style uh, uh, um, defense, but I love that left hook, a six inch punch, very hard to get away from. But make no mistake, Juan Francisco Estrada, a tough young fighter. Yeah, he, well, he got a good style of moving side to side. And what, not, what he tried to do is sneak that overhand right in, and that have not landed. Good punching inside by Estrada. Good left to the rip cage. You know, the short punch he's throwing is, is those are the ones going to take a toe. So Good punching by Estrada. Come out, Gonzalez. He's going to. He's landing good punches. And, you know, we talked about the punching power of Gonzalez. Estrada's got 17 KOs, KOs out of 22 wins. Well, that gets to show you that he can punch, too. But you know what? He gets to show and see how well he can take it. If he can take the punches, this would be a long night tonight. Roman Gonzalez, he's not... He's not worried. He seems like he's not worried about anything. He let him throw. This is just a workout for him in the gym. That's the way it looks to me. You know, it's like a machine gun and a rocket launcher. What do you like? You know, they, they'll both take you out. Here comes the, the Strata back. Gonzalez, just a pure pressure fighter. And now Gonzalez trying to cut the ring off on Estrada. Left hook downstairs. Left upstairs. A right. And Estrada does not want to be there. And he being, slides being, out. Being on that rope is not the place to be when you got a guy that's throwing punches in bunches. It's not a place to be. There's only one guy that did that rope a dope, and I think you know him. Well, that guy that did that didn't on, do the rope a dope. He got dope. <laughs> you don't want to be on the ropes with a power puncher like El Chocolatito Roman Gonzalez. Gonzalez has defended this title three times, each against a Mexican. The 
Sweet right hand by Gonzalez. Good left to the rip cage by Estrada as he moves away. And Champ, that's the secret. He can't stay. He's got to move in, out, side to side. He's got to get in and throw punches, and then he got to get out, Mike. He can't stay there to trade. Do not trade. Unload and get out. Some of that action in close and a good right by Ramon El Jacqueline Tito Gonzalez. And champ, you know, we always talk about the heavyweights with punching power, but what about the power of these two white flyweights? Well, I tell you, little guys like that don't look like they get punched, but knock your brains out, Mike. Round number three, the WBA World Light Flyweight title at stake. Ramon Gonzalez in the blue and white. And throwing those left hooks is the challenger, Juan Francisco Estrada. And one thing about Juan, I like about him, that he's throwing no punches, and he's getting out of there. He's not staying there to wait for him to throw a punch back. Ron is doing a good job, boxing side to side. When he gets in real close, he ties him up and, get, and he goes back on his toes. And as we always say, champ, only an artist can stand there and admire his work. You unload and get out of there. Get out of there. And a good good hand speed and good left jab by Estrada. The head and, and, I'm sorry. And he's he's fighting a good fight, Mike. He's, he's moving. If Strategically, he's doing going, what he has good. to do. Yeah. And a good round three. There's a headbutt a moment ago. No blood, no foul, it looks like. And that's a good thing because that makes the fight bad. If it ain't from a fist and from a hair, you know, the headbutts are accidental. And Estrada really showing good movement right now, champ. Good fluidity. And, and that's what he's got to do, Mike. And he's doing what he got to do to try to win this fight. And he's not staying in there too long and taking... He's trading punches, but then he gets out, and then he goes on his own. But again, make no mistake, Gonzalez can take you out, Mark, with one punch. And I think they, I think they know this, and the punches that he's landing, they're not easy punches. They're punches that you feel. The pure pressure... is deafening inside the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena. They are loving this action. We hope you watching around the globe on Well TV are enjoying it. Blood from the nose of Estrada now. He's getting hit. That's why he got blood from the nose. And he's going to continue to bleed and hope that these guys can stop that blood because if not, he's going to have Actually, a problem breathing. There's another cut over the right eye of Estrada as well. And my favorite punch of El Chacolatito Ramon Gonzalez Champ is that six inch left hook. Very short and almost impossible to get away from. Well, you think Garcia now is starting to put a lot of pressure on him. He's now punching while he's going in for it. And this is what this, this is what he needs to do. Good end of round three for Gonzalez. What a
And there's the uh, end swell under the left eye of Estrada. He's got to put that pressure on there. And we are ready. We are ready. Round number four. The World Light Flyweight Championship WBA champion Ramon El Chacolatito Gonzalez on the left. On the right is Juan Francisco Estrada. I'm Mike Mittman along with Larry Holmes and Mark Abrams for this global broadcast. And again, uh, Mark, great to be joined by our international team, including Julio Cesar Chavez, Marco Antonio Barrero, and the Pac-Man. Manny Pacquiao. It's a great atmosphere of, of boxing uh, luminaries and champions in the ring now. And you know, everybody bought tickets for a seat, but nobody's using their seats. They are all standing up. You can feel the electricity. Gonzalez On the ropes. Right. Look for that left hook of Gonzalez. He's very methodical. And Estrada got out of there, champ. That's right, he's got to stay off that road if he wants to survive this, this fight. He can't lay on the road and let, let this guy bang him like that. He, he's actually doing okay in the middle of the ring, but here he goes back against the ropes. So Gonzalez, this is what Gonzalez wants. He wants you on the rope so that your arm might get stuck in the rope and you can't move backwards, you can't move on the side. I mean, you got you, you good, but right there he fought, he fought real good off the rope that time. He just landed two crushing blows off the rope. And that's what he got to do, is stay right there. If you're going to fight, fight him in the middle, just like that. Estrada opening up on Gonzalez right now. And that's where, he's, that's where he should fight, right there in the middle. You got him, you got him. Don't go back on the rope. Fight him in the middle, because you don't have no room to throw punches on the rope. Incredible champ. arena here in Los Angeles. I tell you what, these guys are getting their, the people, are, the fans are getting their money worth, Mike. I tell you that right now. Under 50 seconds to go in round number four, and a great round for Juan Francisco Estrada. That was not a good punch. He was reaching for it. He was reaching. He can't reach it. You got to stay off them ropes. You stay off them ropes. And uh, he can he can move. But stay on the ropes, he's going to get hit. Just like he's doing. He's getting hit. He's laying on our ropes. And the champion landed a good right hand, but Estrada coming back. Champion working the body on the ropes. Good left good. right by Estrada. A left hook, yeah. another right. This Estrada is tough. And I tell you, Gus still got hurt that time, too, because he was what waiting. What a fight! What a fight! He was waiting for the punches. When you, when you wait for punches, that's when you get hit. You can't wait. You got to go out there and do your thing. Don't admire what you've done until the fight's over. Well, we found out that, it's, that, that Chuck Latito is a heck of a chin as well. And you know, Mark, we've been talking about our main event coming up, 12 rounds for the world flyweight unification title as the fight of the year. Well, I think everything we've seen tonight is a fight of the year. In action from the first bell, we see some of the action of, of round four. Let's take a look at some of that action. Estrada, amazing hand speed in close, and that's where he's going to win, if he's going to win, is that amazing hand speed champ. You know, he fought a good right there in close, Mike. You know, maybe he was fighting his last breath. Maybe he's running out of gas, and he wanted to show a little stamina. But we'll see. Round five, set for 12. The WBA World Light Flyweight, Flyweight Championship. On the right, the champ, El Chacolatito, Ramon Gonzalez on the left, Juan Francisco Estrada. Estrada now starting to find his timing, starting to put those punches together. Good way from distance from Chocolatito has Estrada on the ropes now. You know, I don't think he's finding him. It, it, it range. Mike, I think he's finding out that he's got a fight on his hand. That's what it is. 
all that jiving, all that taking the time, being a champion, he don't have time for that. He's got to fight, and that's what he's doing. Exactly. This is do or die, hit or be knocked out. And again, we talked about Gonzalez, 28 fights in 33 wins, undefeated in 33 fights, but Estrada, 17 KOs in 23 fights, only one loss. What a record mark for these two top fighters. Terrific action, it's lived up to the billing. We still have uh, Valeria Marquez next. We keep saying we can't top it, but we've topped everything so far. Look at that right hand by Estrada. Oh. Left by Estrada. Estrada's doing what he got to do. He's backing up, turning around. He's throwing that left hook. That left hook is getting in there, even though he's still getting the pressure put on him. But Garcia, he's oh. still trying to fight him. Amazing hand speed as Garcia started to put him together. Bounce back. Both these guys are showing tremendous chins. And you know, champ, this is what boxing is about. Not taking it easy, coming out and giving it everything. One of the things about these Latin fighters, Mike, this is a life they, they death come fight. Out, they, these Latin fighters, they come out and they fight. They don't come out here jiving and joking around. They want to win. They want to win the title. They put their life on the line, what they're doing, to give the people a good fight. The people are fighting, too. These kids are, are fighting, and the people are enjoying this fight. For those here in the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, what a fight they've been watching. And for those watching around the globe live on Wealth TV, we've given you everything we said and more. Left right by the champion. And blood streaming down the nose of Estrada. And you know what, champ? There is no quit in Estrada. You know what, I tell you what, you know, I'm, I'm not crazy about little guys fighting because they never thought to put up, they really put them putting the punches together, they really put a lot together, but not hurting each other. But these guys are putting the punches together and they're hurting each other. They're so this is fight. a good fight. Let's take a look at some of that from the champion. Left, right on the ropes. But Estrada comes right back, fighting off of those ropes and showing that amazing hand speed. As you look at the interior right here, the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, what a great fight we're giving everyone, Mark. And, and this just shows you that when you put good fighters in, no matter what the weight is, you get great fights, great atmosphere. These two guys are bringing out the best of each other. You know, just like with your fight that you won the championship against Kenny Norton toe-to-toe, -to -toe, champ, these guys are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, but I didn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe like that, Mike. I think I boxed a little bit. I didn't take the shot that these guys are taking. And they and, are taking And them. they're taking shots. Round number six, 12 rounds, the WBA World Light Flyweight Championship. On the right is the champion, El Chacolatito Ramon Gonzalez. On the left, Juan Francisco Estrada. The combination drove Estrada back to the ropes here. You know, Mark, you may go a year and never see another fight like this. This is high intensity. It's for the top spot at 108 pounds. And again, as we've mentioned earlier, the winner of this fight would like to uh, move up in weight, only four pounds difference, and fight the winner of our main event. Well, Gonzalez has basically, basically been guaranteed that spot. Uh, don't say anything about guarantees right now. Mm. Well, should, with a win, he would be guaranteed that spot. Uh, that may be, and that sure uh, isn't in the, uh, the bank. If Estrada has anything to do with double left jab by Estrada. Good movement in there, Larry Holmes. Yeah, I tell you, Estrada. Estrada's doing what he's supposed to do, man. He's, he's not standing in one spot. He's using the jabs. He's going both sides. He's left. He's going right. He's fighting you in the middle. And if he gets on the rope, he'll fight you on the rope or off the rope. 
Yeah, he's, doing a, he's doing a good job. So he's you know spinning, what? He's spinning a strata with that left foot. Yeah. But, but what he's got to do is try to out. He's coming back. He Watch got, out for that left hook. But what he's got to do is stay off the rope. That's what he got to do. He's throw right in the middle of that ring. Like that. Stay right in the middle of the ring. He throw punches right back. His body shots from Gonzalez. Right there. Right hand by Gonzalez. greatest fights in your lifetime. This is tremendous. The guy is just throwing punches. He, he, he's not giving him any room. He's putting a lot of pressure on him. And this is what he's got to do if he want to keep his title. Keep his reputation. Again, keep your eye on that short left hook inside by El Chocolatito Ramon Gonzalez. There was a sequence there. They're in the middle of the ring where in previous rounds, Estrada was uh, landing some good combinations, and he didn't throw. So I don't know if his pace is slowing down a little bit. We'll have to check that out as we head into the second half of the fight. Well, he's, he's taking his time because he don't know how long he's got to go. But I tell you what, you got to keep an eye on him because he's pretty slick. What a round for both of these young junior flyweights. Let's take a look at some of that action from round number six. And there's Gonzalez on the charge, a right hand, another right on the ropes, catching Estrada. There's a nice step around there, left, followed by a left hook to the body. And Champ, it's been the lateral movement that's been a success for Estrada. If he stops for one moment, that will be a fatal mistake. Well, you got to you got to keep moving. I mean, you don't have to move, 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 and move, but you got to you know you got to pick your spot. All right, round number seven, the WBA World Light Flyweight Championship. The champion Ramon El Chocolatito Gonzalez against Juan Francisco Estrada in the white and red. And again, good movement, which is what Estrada has to do. Well, he's moving now, Mike, but you know what? You're moving, you got to throw punches. You don't throw punches, you ain't get, you ain't scoring. And in this fight here, you got to score. The judges are looking at everything. And not only that, if he doesn't, and the champ gets a warning to keep them up, if he doesn't throw punches, then Gonzalez will just come in and unload on him. He will do that. And the champ has been throwing punches down there all night long, so by the time he's getting warned about it. Well, there has been a few uh, south of the border. <laughs> it was an accident. So there, there's Estrada back to do what he did in the first couple rounds, but now getting driven back to the ropes again. And watch that left hook of Gonzalez in close along those ropes. These guys are throwing good body punches, too, you know, and these guys... Must have been a lot of work for that body shot. They had to take the body shot like that. And I, I like what Estrada is doing. He's hooking off the left jab without pulling the punch back. A very quick succession of punches. Well, that's what you got to do, Mike, if you want to make them quick. Right now, they might, they might take time off because they're not throwing too many punches right now. And and this, this is where Estrada should be making some hay here. Well, I don't think Estrada can make any hay because I tell you what, he ain't <laughs> he ain't been not getting hit. He's been getting hit too. And this pace has been absolutely incredible as the international press at ringside are taking pictures of what could be the greatest fight you'll see in a long time. Wow! Look at the champion unloading. Astronic fighting back, fighting for survival. See, one of the things about these guys here, they're throwing a lot of punches and bunches. 
But you ain't gonna get nothing. Now you ain't gonna get no knockout out there unless you take your time and throw some hard punches. You got to put hard punches together. Just because you're throwing them in punches, you look good. People hollering, cheering. They ain't working. That ain't nothing. That's like a fly being landing. Another headbutt. Again, no blood there. See, it looks good for the crowd when you're on the ropes and you just throw hundreds of the punches. Though hundreds of punches ain't landing or they ain't, they don't count because they ain't hurting. You didn't do anything, you waste a lot of energy. At the end of round number seven. en el centro del ring, ahí no te va a hacer nada ese güey, dale vuelta nomás en el centro no te pegues en las cuerdas Juan ¿Eh? mira, este round tienes que trabajarlo con fuerza abajo Juan, con fuerza, una combinación termínalo abajo, ¿Eh? termínalo abajo en cada combinación que tú tires ¿entendiste? escúchame, veme la cara, ¿entendiste? órale pues, ¿qué vas a hacer? terminar abajo con tu ya primero, con tu golpe recto fuerte y pa' un abajo, y pa' un abajo all right Mark what advice do you think he's giving Estrada in the corner? Well, the advice he should be giving him, easier said than done, stay off the rope, circle, 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 instead of being pushed back. I know it's easier said than done, but he's having his best exchanges in the middle of the ring. He's getting three, four punch combinations and moving, and he's scoring points, but when he keeps getting pushed back the ropes to the corner, Gonzalez is you got to know he's telling them, stay off of those ropes. Round number eight, WBA World Light Flyweight Championship up for grabs. A right by the challenger, Francisco Estrada. A left by Gonzalez. Another left. He wasn't listening to that advice. He got hit again. Gonzalez may sense something here because he's, he's firing off these left hooks with a little bit more behind them now and these guys are putting everything behind those left hooks and blood streaming down the nose of Juan Francisco Estrada and champ Estrada back to oh, moving again well, that's what he's going to have to do, Mike, if he wants to try to win this fight. He's got to move side to side, and he got to throw that jab, he got to throw right hands, and he got to stop taking these punches by laying on the ropes. Because any time he laying on the ropes, Mike, he's going to get hit. And you're not going to have a whole lot of power laying on those ropes. You can't get no leverage. And he's going to get hit by about probably five, six punches at a time, like, like Gonzalez is trying to do right now. Because he's not moving. He's standing still. He's in... He's not strong enough to stand inside in there and throw punches. And he got a fighting back. Yeah, what he's got to do, he got to use the jab, use the right hand, the left hook, and he got to move out of there. Laying on the ropes like this, it ain't no good for him. Not today, not tomorrow, not never. It ain't no good for him. He came back firing with four shots of his own. Yeah, he come back firing, but they don't mean nothing because he come back firing. That's what he back. need to do right there. And, 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 but again, he leans back on that rope, and that's where he gets in trouble. Right there, that's where he needs to be. Throw no punches, right there. Back with that jab instead of trying to pull up the trunk. Right there. Right Blazing there. hand speed by Estrada. This is good stuff. What a round. Stuff. What a round. That's as good a round as you'll see in a while. Let's take a look at some of that action. And there's Estrada with that right hand through the guard of El Chocolatito. Amazing flurry by both fighters. 
What I, what I see here, he's not, Mastrano's not doing, he's not turning into it. He's not putting his body, his shoulders into the punches he's throwing. They're just arm punches. And this is why he's not hurting nobody. We're ready for action from round number nine, the WBA World Light Flyweight Championship. The champion, Ramon El Chacolatito Gonzalez, taking on the challenger, Juan Francisco Estrada. And Estrada starting it right off. That's what he's been doing every round, Mike. He comes out, he throws them punches in, three or four punches, then he moves out. And, and this is what he needs to do. And keep that going. He, he's not on the ropes or whatnot because he got energy. As soon as he starts getting a little fatigued, he leans back on the ropes, and that's what hurts him. And that's not the place to take a break. Although I have to say, Mark, very few coffee breaks in this fight. Uh, and plus, I was, I was just thinking here, I, mean, I don't know what the judges' scores are, but I think the fight's on the table for both guys still. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, I got to give it to him for being aggressive, but you know what? These guys are fighting. People are getting their money worth. And, uh, you know, I think the man is favorite will win the fight. But I tell you what, I mean, it's a heck of a fight. And you heard it from me. Four, four rounds to go. And you're right, champ. It is a heck of a fight. Dallas hasn't done much the, the first minute and a half of this round. The guy's here. He's a good fighter. He's a champ, but you know what? He, he, he sleeps when he comes out every round. You know, after the first 30 seconds, he, he don't do anything but take punches. And that's not good. You can't win fights on the, on the last two and a half minutes. Especially after you give up 30, you know, the first 30 seconds. Good right don't need to take that. Don't need to take it. This is where Estrada wants to be in center ring. See, my, my strategy when I was fighting, it was always to win the first two minutes. Always, because they ain't gonna let no guy beat me on the last minute. So, you know, I was getting shape for that. And right now, putting the pressure on it, but he took very few punches. And a slider right in there with toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ramon Gonzalez. And a good right by Estrada. You know, Mark, this pace is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it's, I mean, you expect this of 108-pound fighters. Good left hook from uh, Gonzalez there. Oh, big shot from Estrada. And Estrada finishing round number nine in a big way. And coming up, the WBA, WBO World Flyweight Championship elimination match moments away. Brian the Hawaiian Punch Valoria and Hernan Tyson Marquez. We said that would be the fight of the year, but we may have been wrong. That might not this be may day. be the fight of the year. Yeah, that might, might be the fight of the night. And, and we are in the dressing room. Brian Valoria. As we take a look at Brian. And he's warming up. He's ready to put his belt on the line in that unification title match. <laughs> Round number 10, set for 12. Let's get back to this one. Words cannot say how great a fight this is. Let's see uh, if Gonzalez gets back here in round 10. I believe Estrada won round nine pretty handily. But here they go again. 
And you know, Strata came out, I didn't want to cut up and do a right hand, landed flush on the jaw. Well, you know, Gonzalez knew this wasn't going to be an easy title defense, Mark. Not with a guy 22 and 1 with 17 KOs. You know, Mark, I can't even pick which round was the best. They're all great. Tremendous action. And here comes Gonzalez back with thudding shots. I tell you, a guy with 17 knockouts can knock you out, Mike. It doesn't really matter. He can punch. But he's just not getting the good leverage of this guy just taking a better punch tonight. But the object of the game in boxing is not to be hit, to do the hitting and don't get hit. But in this fight, this fight here tonight, they both taking the licking. Well, when you're going toe to toe, you're going to get hit. And champ, you got to admire the conditioning of these fighters. They stay, they stay in good condition. Like little guys always stay in condition. Now, I haven't seen them that get to this level out of shape. Chocolatito. You know, this fight here is a great fight, and I think this fight here is going to go to distance, and then when the, when the bell rings, I think they're going to get a standing ovation because this is a good fight. That was a step on. Step on the toe. Yeah. That was nothing. Off balance by Estrada. Stepped on the toe. In fact, I think Estrada landed the combination, and then he fell back. No, he stepped on the toe. I see that. I watch everything. <laughs> I'm watching these right hands. He's getting hit with. Oh, Estrada came back with the left right. Gonzalez just throwing good right hand. Still, I mean, he's, a, he's supposed to leave me a puncher, but he ain't, he ain't getting this guy out of there. He's got to take some shots. What a round. What a fight. As we come to the end of round. Six more minutes of this. the champ in the blue and white in the red and white Juan Francisco Estrada accidental head but well when you're going toe to toe that will happen yes I'm surprised it's just now happening and a trade left hooks from Gonzalez. See what happened with uh, what he did. He got hit when he put, when he backed up with his hands down. Unbelievable action. Mark, you may go years and years and not see another fight like this. He just got clipped with a left hook there, Gonzalez, as well. Estrada unloading inside on the champion. 
See, when Strider pulls back, that's when he get hit. Pulls back with his hands down and his head up in the air. And he's been lucky thus far because he get hit with a right hand, he's going down. Good right from uh, Gonzalez from distance there. And Mark, tomorrow morning, boxing writers all over the world are going to be talking about this fight. I, I can't disagree. This is a high impact, high intensity championship fight. A good left inside by the champion. A Estrada fires back with a right. Double left, right by Estrada. And this is what he needs to do. Stay in the middle of that ring if he's going to stay there and trade. Stay in the middle of it. We are in the but championship the rounds. Point, but he can't go up against the ropes and, and, and try to trade. So they get the worst of it. He's getting the worst of this, too. He's he going to be down. A Estrada firing back. erupting. One thing about Estrada, he came here to fight. He ain't come here to lay down. And he's giving the people what they want to see. He may be just 22 years old, Estrada, but he wants this championship now. I tell you what, he got a great future. All right, let's take a look at some of that action from round number 11. A good left, right inside. Another left, the right lands by Estrada. And blazing hand speed from the challenger. I can't even imagine, Mark, what round 12 is going to be. This crowd in the Los Angeles Sports Memorial Arena going to go wild. Well, they've been basically on their feet for the first 11 rounds now. And we have great backing from each country. The Nicaraguans are out in full force, as are the Mexican fans. So this is going to be a very uh, electric atmosphere as we go to round 12. Round 12. All right, this is it. The 12th and final round. WBA World Light Flyweight title. It comes down to this, the challenger on your left, the red and white, Juan Francisco Estrada against the champion, Ramon Chacolito Gonzalez. Good right from Gonzalez. And Estrada con continuing, continuing to fire back. Well, you know, one thing I don't like about Gonzalez, he comes out a little slow. He takes four or five punches. And then he comes on, and uh, that's not good. He's got to learn to come out and land four or five punches before he takes them. Well, he's thinking his power will turn it around. But his power, he's been throwing his power punches for 12 rounds, and there ain't nothing happening. No, nope. This kid is not going away. Oh. This kid going to fight. Oh. Good combination from Gonzalez. And this kid is not going to let Gonzalez knock him out now. He's Good punching fight. inside by Estrada. And Mark, you have to agree, rarely have you seen hand speed like that of Juan Francisco Estrada. Estrada is, is, is a good fighter. He puts his punches wow. together as he's going wow. now. Uppercut. Put Look at punches. Estrada. And he's landing those punches, too. All of those punches. Oh, the on. uppercut. He's not missing. And he's trying to show, close the show. And this is what you got to do. If you want to win the championship, you got to close the show. This, is, this crowd is going wild. This is unbelievable. That's the word. The unbelievable. Fight, the fight ain't over. These guys still going to get back in that position and throw some more punches. They got a minute, a minute to win it. I'm watching it, and I don't believe it. A minute to win it, as you said, champ. They're talking about the winner fighting the winner of the main event. The heck with that. I want to see the rematch. Oh, yeah. It, it could be a good fight again for another rematch. Look like my man is hurt. But he come back throwing a punch again. And the champion has a 
challenger on the ropes. He quickly slides off. I think they'd pay $1,000 a seat for that rematch. I don't know, but I tell you what, Garcia, he's throwing his budget. He wakes up, and then I tell you what, he, he, uh, these guys are fighting, as I said earlier. People are getting their money worth in. Wow! Wow, the champion comes One back. 14 seconds to go. They will stand up and give us standing ovation because these guys deserve Stand real basic because they are fighting. We come to the end of the fight. They're standing up. And this that's crowd it. is on their feet. This crowd is on their feet. Judges Fritz Werner and Steve Morrow both see the bout 116, 112. Tienen la pelea 116 a 112. A favor del ganador, in favor of the winner, and still 